Hello, you're watching a Secret Agent Agency, and we are playing Dead of the Brain, Cry of the Dead. It is me, uh, the dead, and joining me is the brain. Hi. And, um, if the, uh, okay, so this is your first time watching us. I'm Kevin, that's Andrew G, who will be here later. Um, and... This game is was recently translated to English four months ago by somebody named Wine, and um, it is a game for the PC ninety eight, uh, well the ninety eight oh one I suppose. Um, it's got some got some bugs to the translation. I have to follow a specific route to get through the game, um, and I'm going to be saving pretty often to get through. Um, and this is part of our time honored tradition. Uh, this is our third year doing this, where I just kind of inflict a random kind of cursed game on my friends for Easter or uh, April Fool's Day because they kind of coincide. Um, so, however you want to think about it, uh, the first time we played Jesus, the Tale of the Dreadful Bio Monster. Last time we played Space Funeral, and now is dead of the brain let us begin and i'm going to oh it's already high speed okay new game Ah, finally, home at last. Man, I got worked to death painting those walls today. Why don't they make the temps do it? Why do I have to do all the boring chores? Thanks to that, I had to work overtime again today. Whatever, overtime pays well so I ain't complaining. God, I'm all sweaty. I should go take a shower and relax for a bit. Ah, I'll relax now. I love my after shower beer as well. Try it once, you can never stop having them. Well, another day of work done. I wonder when something interesting will happen for once. Even if it's a massive incident that baffles the world. Huh? Who could be calling this late? Hi, this is Cole speaking. Do you want to be this guy? I don't know how delayed I'll be. Cole, it's me, Booger. Oh, it's you, Doc. Why are you calling in the middle of the night? It's amazing, Cole. You gotta see my latest invention. It'll knock your socks off. This again? Last time, you pumped so much blood into that artificial heart that it burst. My jacket got soaked. It was such a pain to wash it. I don't think I got rid of the smell. I assure you, it's amazing. No blood this time. I mean, less blood. Can you just come over now? Now? I'm too tired. How about tomorrow? Right now. I'll tell Terry about you and Sheila. Alright, I'll be there. Oh, I'll be waiting. Doc's always threatening to expose Sheila and I when he wants something. Terry doesn't know I'm seeing Sheila, and he's planning to make moves on her. He came to ask me for advice on it. I'll figure it out when he finds out. If I don't go now, Doc will never let me hear the end of it. Wonder what he did this time. Why are you waiting here, Doc? The neighbors don't know I'm home, so I couldn't have you call to me out loud. I don't want anyone to know about this one. I see. So, what's this new invention? It's in the lab. Come see. I'm always impressed at how cool this lab is. Most people wouldn't believe this is a university professor's home. Well, since my wife passed, all I have is my research. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot. Don't look sad. I just spoke without thinking. I didn't mean to. Huh? Doc, did you hear that? It sounded like someone moaning. Yeah. Like a baby. Cole, watch it. <gasps> Cole, 
Call Duck! Whoa, what's with that cat? Oh, did you get bit? Scratched? Anything? No, nothing hurts. I'm alright, but anyways. This was your cat, wasn't it? Yes, it's Kitty. Kitty, huh? Right. Why the hell did your pet cat attack me? Does it have rabies? No. The cat died a week ago. Huh? Don't be crazy. It jumped right at me. It's not the same quiet kitty as before. It must be Rabbit. Just tell it straight. I'm not a health inspector, you know. Cole, kitty isn't Rabbit. You got it all wrong. Got it all wrong? What do you mean? What's with that weak old dead cat shit? Shooting it was just cruel. Listen to me, Cole. Kitty died a week ago. I'm certain it wasn't rabies. Found the body just after I made the first sample of my new resurrection drug. Resurrection drug? Like, the kind of thing that can revive the dead? Yes. Kitty died of old age. I felt sorry for it, but I made it my test subject. Doc, I can't get what you're saying. No way you made a drug like this. Sure, you're a genius scientist, but this is the stuff of movies. I know anyone would think this kind of thing is impossible. Your reaction is quite understandable, Cole. Yet, I must make you realize that this isn't sci-fi. What are you gonna do? It's harder. Show you the drug in full force. Cat is certainly dead, right? It would be odd if it was still alive after all that. Doc, can you stop? I believe you. No, you're doubting. You probably think I went mad. You must see this with your own eyes. Liquid in here is a sample of the drug. Look at your watch after I eject it. According to my data, it'll take 13 seconds until revival. Here we go. No way! It came back to life! How? Those certainly aren't post-death convulsions. How about it? Believe me now? No way, this must be a trick. It's not some trick. It's moving before your eyes, isn't it? Doc, this is amazing! You'll win the Nobel Prize! Maybe something greater! When will you make it public? We aren't there yet. Like I said, this is a prototype sample. How so? Did it just not... did it not just work perfectly? Well, there are some side effects. Animals revived with the drug go feral. Feral? Like those zombies in the movies? Huh, probably. But I haven't tested it on humans, so I'm not sure. It's against the law. I'm a scientist, not a doctor. Anyways, revived animals lose any dis- oh wait, that's you. Fuck. Yeah. Anyways, revived animals lose any docility they once had. Never heard of cats who attack humans without being provoked, unless they have rabies. <laughs> the fact that they both start with C is kind of throwing me off. I see. Kitty, why do you attack humans? What's your goal? Don't touch it. I forgot to tell you that their physical strength nearly doubles. Do you know what the word restrain means? Our muscles have enough strength to break our own bones. Normally, you save that strength to protect your own body. Once the ferality... ferality takes over, that restraint is gone and it exhibits unreal strength. It could probably kill a human in one hit. M Mr. Cooger, this is Officer Jack from the 16th Precinct. Open the door, Mr. Cooger. The cops! What are we gonna do? Open the door! This is the police! Cole, stay here and hide the cat in the fridge. Don't let it bite you. Alright. Mr. Cooger! Mr. Cooger! Officer, what brings you here at this hour? The house is so old I can hear their voices through the walls. Mr. Cooger, we had reports of strange cat noises in the area. <laughs> right. 
There are many strays around, and it's troubling even me. Isn't it odd, though, to ask the police to deal with stray cats? Well, they say it's not a regular noise. It's more like eerie shrieks. We've been getting reports since last week. I got curious, so I came to patrol. I see. But I haven't heard any shrieks myself. Ah, uh, may I look inside? It's routine. I won't be long. I don't mind. I have a guest now, so please be quick. I'm coming in, then. Is this your bedroom? Yes. So my wife passed. I've forgotten to clean it, so it's quite messy. All right. This is my study. All my research is collected in there, so please don't touch anything. Don't worry. I won't. What's in here? The lab. My guest is here. May I come in? He's coming in here? Doc, just get him to leave. I don't mind at all. What are these photos here? These are famous scientists. I look up to them as one myself. Cole, this is Officer Jack from the 16th Precinct. Nice to meet you. The name's Cole. Good evening. My name is Jack Keithman. What are you doing here at a time like this? We've been thinking of holding a holiday, of holding a party soon. And I wanted to discuss it with Doc. I mean, my professor. I see. Mr. Kuger, what kind of research are you doing here? Research on cancer cells. Arrivals always beat me to it. I've grown too old to do this. Huh? What's that noise? Must be the strays from behind the house. There's the garbage bin there, so they gather there for dinner. There's a graveyard nearby, so maybe some ghosts are making those noises. Ah, I see. Well, I hope the cats don't mistake you for a salad. Well, I'll be leaving now. If you see anything, let us know. Thank you for your service. Huh? What's that sound? Do you hear a noise coming from the fridge there? No, there's nothing but medicine in there. Really? I'm sure I heard something. Can I open it? Sure, I don't mind. Doc, this is bad. Why didn't you stop him? If I did, that would be suspicious. Plus, every animal ejected with the drug expired within two minutes. A cat's probably still alive. What do we do? Ah! Doc! Doc, what are you doing? We have to take him to a hospital. It's too late. Kitty slashed his throat. His jugular vein and carotid artery are completely severed. What about Kitty? She's dead. Must have used her final strength to kill Jack. What do we do? They're all gonna think we murdered him. I know. We just have to tell them that the cat fucking came back to life. Doc, say something. We've got to tell the police the truth. Even you doubted me. Do you really think the police will take our word for it? They'll think we're men. There's no way the police will accept that explanation. We'll both be sent to the electric chair, or to a gas chamber. Screw that! What do we do? They're gonna find us in no time. Kitty bit Jack's throat, right? Yeah, what are you thinking? The drug is like a virus. It's far from complete, and has living microorganisms in it. Infection. That is, when bitten, you're infected. The virus goes from the wound to the brain. You mean Jack's gonna become a zombie? I don't know. I just said I never tested on humans before. But I can say that it's been a while now and Jack's not moving an inch. Humans have large bodies. Since our body mass is bigger than a cat, a small amount that was in Kitty's bite would take a long time to work on a human. Kitty was a cat, and since cats are naturally violent, 
Her feralness took over. Humans, though, are rational beings. So a human won't go feral like a cat? I don't know. We're not making progress. I say we try to bring him back to life. If we do, we can avoid the death penalty. <laughs> Doc, if this doesn't work, we're screwed, right? Please step away, Cole. If things go badly, I'll shoot him. All right. I like the counter. Oh, I'm going home for this. Five seconds. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. Guess it doesn't work on humans. I guess a drug like this is just a dream. Jack came back to life? Officer Jack, it's me, Mr. Kuger. Jack, can you hear me? It's me, Dr. Kuger. Duck, watch it! He doesn't die no matter how much I shoot. Oh, let's get out of here. We should get out of here now. Just go already. Hurry it up. Doc, the graveyard. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go in. We might lose him. <laughs> Fuck you. What was that about humans not being feral? Where'd that fucking rationality go? When all said and done, I guess we are just descended from monkeys. That's the opposite of what you just said. What's in the bag? It's the drug. Is he still after us? He's still coming? He's so persistent. Wow. Doc, you all right? <laughs> no, my resurrection drug. Oh, they're right on a tombstone. Doc, Jack is on our tail. We gotta run. My serum. You can make more later. Let's go. <laughs> Wonder what's gonna happen. behind this animation. <laughs> Fairy tale. gonna quickly uh drop a save state if i can i think i can do that oh is that not a thing i can do on this not allowed oh boy well what's the worst that could happen doc what do we do no one ever teaches you how to deal with the undead is an undead Jack going to keep following us around until we die of old age? Calm down, Cole. You saw him? He's not even human. What are we going to do? Cole, calm down. The drug is still incomplete. There's a limit to Jack's life for now, and I think it's almost up. When that's done with, we'll go looking for him. He's out there, hearing his second death. We'll get his body. And then we turn ourselves in. Huh? Doc, if the police nab us, we'll get the death penalty for sure. Police are going to find Jack sooner or later. It's best we get it over with now. Yeah, I'm not worried about the chair. I'm worried about wasting the rest of my sorry life with you. Oh, 
There's a much bigger problem than that. Oh, okay. So I have the ability to look. Let's look at this uh, sexy poster behind them. No. Doc looks tired. I've never seen Doc that serious before. Can't blame him. Doc is quite serious. Uh, um. Trying to click on anything? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can talk. Can't get or move. Doc, you saw Dawn of the Zombies, right? That movie about the Frankenstein type guy who made zombies? Yes. A single zombie went around New York City, bit others, the zombies multiplied, and the city turned into a ghost town. Terrifying scenario. Those zombies could have been killed by guns. Why didn't that work back there? That's fiction, you dolt. Only the brain is revived, so blood loss is impossible. How is that possible? Basically, it's imitating a live person. I'm not entirely sure how it works. We gotta go find Jack so hell doesn't break loose. In Dawn of the Zombies, they died when shot in the heart. That didn't work at Doc's lab. That movie is full of shit. Yeah, hey, like uh, our main character. So we can, can get her. Oh, moon. oh. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wow, what'd you just load? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Speedrun uh, strap. Okay, I've made a mistake. I know what that's good. Uh, I guess like other save files that were like on the ROM. Interesting. Okay, I'll get through this really quick. Yeah, whoops. Uh, Oilers. jump scare. Huh? Oh no. Trying to spam through it all. Yeah. Hang on, I might. Uh, can I change the speed? Configure. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it how I want. Try to uncap the frame rate or something? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be what I want. My options are all like emulating changing hardware in the computer. Which I don't think I want to do. <laughs> right, like you're playing a game and then suddenly you open up your computer and throw a new processor in. It's impossible, but this emulator will let you do that. <laughs> you know? Is this all pretty much gonna be like visual novel point and click? 
Yeah. I will warn you, I had some night cooler earlier. Okay. What are you trying to say? I might pass that. Yeah. I do like always imagining the um, the character grunts from the Banjo Kazooie games yeah. when you have like different text sounds. Yeah, or uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's almost a shame that this, like, series died. Like, they're pretty fun. Andrew Gizumi and Bando, um... Yeah. Gooey. They don't really make games like that anymore. The uh, endless collectathon style game. Mm -hmm. I guess your best bet's like an Assassin's Creed or something? Or like any open world? I was hoping it would stop once he was on screen. Oh, he always had that, has that cadence. I might see about cutting this out in a post. No, I refuse. So this is all a mouse click game? Yeah. I'm I'm clicking and pressing spacebar. Okay. <laughs> this part. This was introduced, makes me think it'll come up probably yeah. several more times. I'm thinking so too. Thirty four seconds. Oh, 
called the Fuck You Graffiti. That's... <laughs> it's incredible. The main team. The main team? Main team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. I'm gonna save over whatever save one is there. Okay. So. Just looking and talking and looking and talking. We're almost there. So can I get or move? Can I go? Yeah, but move on. Can I use? No. Okay, so everything here is new. Okay. Yeah, there's that. That policeman attacks people. It won't end well. Oh. We need somebody to play Sheila. And I think I see signs. That someone is coming. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> well, until he gets here. Cole, open the door! Help! Sheila, I'll be right there. Cole, don't tell her anything. Don't worry. Look at Sheila. Sheila's shaking. What happened? Sheila's out of breath. What happened to her? Hope you don't mind that Doc's here. Anyway, what happened? Cole, I was nearly killed. Huh? What's this about? I was walking on Main Street from the train station. Everything felt off. How so? Windows were broken and weirdos were walking down the street. They seemed to be drunks, but they followed me. Did they hurt you? No, they smelled like rot. And when I saw their faces, all three of them had blood all over them. <gasps> I don't think it was makeup. I got scared and ran here. Doc, you thinking what I'm thinking? Unreal. It hasn't been that long. Unreal or not, Sheila saw zombies. Cole, what's going on? Doc made zombies. He made a drug to revive things. He shot it into his dead cat, then it killed a police officer, then he used it on the cop, and well... Hey, he's telling her everything. You're pulling my leg! Sheila, Cole's right. I ran from the cop, and that's why I'm here. We're going to turn ourselves in. Cole and Mr. Cooger, you're you're going to get arrested? Well, if there's that many zombies out there, we have a massive problem on our hands. Possible. It's only been an hour since Jack got out. No way. A resurrection drug. We'd better talk to the police immediately. Is there anything else we can do? 
No, we can't do this by ourselves. Arriving Jack was a mistake. Cole, please dial 911. I can get phone. We have to let the police handle this. Ring, ring. We're sorry. All lines are busy now. Please try your call again later. Lines busy. This happened the last time I called. Let's try again. We're sorry. All lines are busy now. Please try your call again later. It's no use. I can't get through. The lines are busy. So let's wait a little and call again, okay? Let's try again. Wait here a bit longer. Did you have a guide? No. I I do have two things that I, I know I, I need to do at one point. Okay. Sheila's looking calmer now. That policeman attacks people and won't end well. Trying again. Hello? Hello? That's odd. What is it? The line's dead. No dial tone. Look out! Ah! Whoa, did Jack really chase us all the way here? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> hey! Duck, that's a different zombie. Hand me my piece, Cole. Hey, Jihoon, you want to be Sheila? Uh, that means you have to stream this game. I'm doing my best. We can't. There Andrew you go. You, it immediately crashes. Oh, they did? Damn. Yeah. We also, tried. also, uh, what is it? I mean, I have to leave this spot again because I just got back from Costco wrong, so. Oh, okay. How can I have dinner sooner or later, so. Okay. Right, Sheila, get behind me. Doc, it's not working. Fuck, I'm manning his major organs, but he's not dropping. That's he's coming right for game. us. Let's get out of here. Why are you running this game anyway? Emulator? Right. Yeah. Why did that work? Yeah, this is a Neko Project 21WX64. <laughs> 64. Doc, hurry up! Jesus right Christ, now we... that's a lot of zombies. I just saw him shooting a gun, so that's how much delay it is. Okay. How did it multiply so fast? That's a lot more than before. We can't stay here. We should go to the police. The nearest station is in the 16th precinct. Oh no. Okay, so... Go here. No, go here. So, this is the 16th precinct station. Damn, it's pretty far away. It's so quiet right now. It's usually pretty busy during the day. Yeah, no doubt. This is the 16th precinct police station. There's a patrol car. No one's in it. It's a large two-floor police station. Wouldn't have thought to end up here at this hour. A room on the second floor as the lights on. Maybe the entire forest is playing poker. The entrance area is pretty large. Station must be enormous. Try speaking to the cops. They'll understand. You're right. Holy shit, what the fuck happened in here? The zombies must have gotten in here, right, Doc? It's an awful way to die, even for an officer of the law. Oof. The smell of rotting flesh is horrific. I'm gonna be sick. Receptionist is dead. Must have been the first one to go. The cops don't have any bullets in their guns. 
And the look of the stain, a zombie probably picked up picked a man up and threw him into the wall. No normal man could have done that. So many officers were killed, there must have been an army of zombies. Hey Doc, you think these corpses will turn into zombies? Oh, of course not. Their heads are completely destroyed. They can't revive if the brain isn't intact. No. No. Cancel. This one I'll load forever. Hello? Yep. They're dead meat. Flesh, fresh blood. Zombies are probably hiding nearby. Not even, or... <laughs> Not even the police can beat them. What if the army can? We're assuming we just move. You would think. I only have the look and talk options. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> Sheila, can you hit the lights? It's too dark in here. On it! Huh? I think the power doesn't work. It's a bit unsettling. Can you guys think of anything? Click all the buttons. <clears throat> I don't know um, if you've ever encountered this, uh, but some click adventure, like you, if you hit like tab, it tells you what uh, what areas are interactable. I'm yeah, kind of going to get that with this one. I'm kind of scared of hitting like any extra buttons. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, like, it's definitely a thing that's improved upon, like, as the uh, game gets better, you know, quality of life thing. Yeah. Oh, each of their heads have been smashed. Perhaps any other weak point, since they were once human. Possibly, but what's their goal? <laughs> I'm drawing blanks on that one. There's a light on upstairs. Someone's probably up there. I'll go take a peek. Can you grab like pipe or something on the ground? Well, I mean... I'll be fine. Doc, can I have your gun? Rats. I used all the bullets. Even with the gun, it's dangerous to go alone. We won't get anywhere if we stay here. I'll go up to check and I'll be right back. Oh, please don't. It's dangerous. I'll be, f I'll be okay. Don't go anywhere till I come back. If something happens, I'll run right back. Cole, be careful. Alright. It's actually quite bright in here. Wonder if there are any survivors still here. Let's look. We got a f There's a ton of blood on the floor. Must have been spilled a while ago as it's dry. It's a fire extinguisher here. Even the police need it. This door is very different from the rest. It's quite sturdy. I wonder what's in there. There are five doors here, but I don't know where they go. Let's investigate. Don't know what's inside till I check it out. So we need to like exhaust every dialogue thing. This door is already open and bloody. This is a meeting room? Big table in the middle of the room. Eight chairs surrounding it. Real clean. They've got good cleaning etiquette. There's an emergency flashlight hanging on the wall. Possibly for a power failure.
This will definitely be useful. I'm taking it. Nice. Battery's already in here. I can search dark areas now. Cool. I must say, this is pretty plain for a police meeting room. Only the moonlight illuminates the room. I'm getting an eerie feeling. There's a hook for hanging the flashlight. Alright, let's return. I have the flashlight, so it might be a good idea to check another room. Or should I investigate next? I can smell dead bodies from the other side. Yuck. There's a comms room. So awful. God, so many dead police officers. Zombie must have come in here. Killed her first. Then the other guy tried to help the one on the right, but was attacked. Seems there were two zombies. This one is gruesome. These zombies so show no mercy. Seems the zombie got him from behind. Probably died sitting in this chair. There's communications gear, computers, and other stuff on the desk. If you look at the desks, it's clear what happened. There's stuff everywhere. Must have been a hard fight. Probably didn't hear anything with his headphones on. Even if a zombie was right behind him, I should stay alert. Or the doctor's talk now will be at the end of this game. <laughs> dead with nothing to say. Don't see anything of note on the desk. Alright, I guess we can move on. Let's do front right. Check out this room. Must be a chief's office. Zombies probably didn't get in here as the place is spotless. I can see a chair here. It's very fancy. There's an ashtray and a lighter here. I would light one, but Sheila and Doc are waiting. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. There's an old glory on display. There's one in all police stations. America! The room is lit up by an overhead light. This must be what we saw from the outside. <laughs> Whenever I see this flag, it makes me proud of being in a born in America. There's a phone, pen holder, and a nameplate on the desk. There's also a sheet of paper. Is this phone usable? This isn't like the desk downstairs, it's a lot more fancy. This lighter could be useful. Shit, it's out of fluid. Don't think I could do much with an empty lighter. This flag is heavier than it looks. I'm too weak to pick it up. <coughs> this probably isn't I'm too useful. Weak. Doodle arms. Lots of stuff on the desk, but don't think I'll need any of it. You know, we might already not even. Oh uh, no! I meant to torture you guys a little bit, but not like this. So I make this lines. Okay. Try my best. That room door is open and bloody. Ah, zombie must have gone into this interrogation room. Everything that was probably on the desk is now on the floor. Must have been a fierce fight. This was an officer from the station. There's a lot of blood and his brains were eaten. There's no coming back from that. An officer holding a handgun. Not an odd sight. Papers, chairs, ashtrays, and letters are scattered everywhere. Must have been organizing papers on the chair while smoking his last. This didn't fall, but it seems like it was moved around. The chair leg is bent. The officer couldn't have done this. Let's get his gun. 
It seems the slide is pulled on the gun. I should examine it before I grab it. Well, I'm trying. Look, I guess. No bullets left in the gun. He fired every shot he could. No matter how many times I check, nothing has changed. No bullets left at all. An empty gun would get in the way. What? I'm not gonna carry around a corpse. Human shields aren't meant to be portable. Better off leaving all this on the floor. Okay. Let's uh, move on, I guess. I'm gonna save. And then... Let's go. Let's investigate that cool room. Something reeks of gunpowder. This must be an armory. It's so dark. But I can use the flashlight. Alright, I can see now. Is that blood on the floor? It goes to the back. Someone there? I think I see a desk back there, so maybe that's a different room. No weapons? What can I do with all the undead if I don't have a weapon? The fact that there's a massive trail of blood means something is back there, dead or undead. I should stay alert. Seems the blood hasn't dried. Must be new. No one could have survived this much bleeding. Not a single bullet or gun here. Even a little pea shooter would make me feel better. From here, the room doesn't look too big. Okay, I'll return. I guess I can go back downstairs? No. Like, this can't be it. Do you guys yeah. see anything I don't? Huh? Can't you stop Jake for some reason? Yeah, can't you go forward or no? No. Well, I'm just a teacher, so this is just another zombie apocalypse. Yeah, uh, pretty much. <laughs> There's a painting on the wall, but I'm clueless about paintings. Went to an art gallery once, but the more I looked around, the more the paintings looked samey. The more I stay here, the more I worry about how my tax money is being spent. Thank you. 
wouldn't it be creepy if a group of zombies held a meeting in here? So is was there been like any mystery so far? Like, oh, it's the zombie on colors, but like, why or something like that? Well, we we know it caused all the zombies. Mm. Yeah, that's our that's our pal, the doc. He made a serum that revives things for brief moments. Uh -huh. Are they already calling a zombie or something else? Is what? All the zombies earlier. Okay. No, because you know that's that's one, that's one thing I really love about the uh, setting of a Walking Dead is that a zombie doesn't exist. The, the concept of zombie doesn't oh, yeah. exist in the in the world. So they're like yeah. trying to come up with the, like what can we what should we call it? I don't know. Walking Dead. The, um, yeah, the character the characters have referenced like other zombie movies. I think that's why I, I think some of us take the uh, some of the media for granted. Like if uh, something like this happened, uh, like we we know like oh it's right away it's like oh it's a zombie or somehow the dead people are coming back or something like that. But without it, we probably like, what how. All right, I'm going to see if there's a guide. Where to? Oh, there's somebody else having the exact same problem as I am. The hero absolutely flat out refuses to follow the trail of blood on the floor. <laughs> Um, okay, so one of the other offices apparently has some kind of code. <sighs> I'm gonna guess the comms one. Device seems to talk 
to be used to talk with police cars directly. Maybe I can use it. Okay. It's radios for talking with police cars. Get? No. Use? Maybe I could contact a patrol car. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Shh, shh. Is anyone We're out there? Dead. Is this thing on? No. Nah. Brains. Brains. <laughs> There's someone out there. It works. More brains. I eat brains. Wait a minute. That's no cop. Brains? Mmm. Crunch. Ugh. Sounds like the voices of hellish demons groaning at me. Are zombies eating brains? Is that why they're killing people? Why would they want to eat brains? Maybe they need the brains to live. I don't want to hear that anymore. So it's this game like Resident Evil before Resident Evil. <laughs> uh, oh, my way. I don't know. Maybe a bit. I mean, that course is coming back to life with the chemical agent. That sounds like a Resident Evil to me. Yeah. Can't speak without his brain. I don't know why Twitch is telling me to do this, but... Hmm. Breaking news! Isekai is now officially in Oxford Dictionary. Oh, good. Nice. Along with the Donburi, Hibachi, Karage, Katsu, all this stuff. So what exactly the what did, what definition did they give? Let me see. A Japanese genre of science or fantasy fiction featuring a protagonist who is transferred to or reincarnated in a different, strange, or unfamiliar world. That sounds about right. Also, science is just about every single that exists out there. All right, guys, I found uh, a Spanish walkthrough. Oh, God, you have to do it. To eat. Hey. Andrew, how come you're not looking into game facts? <laughs> there aren't any. Oh. oh, he fell asleep. Okay. Yeah, this, <laughs> this isn't going very well, is it? Andrew being asleep. Mm-hmm. I'm sort of awake. You find sort of. <laughs> my eyes resting. Stuck at uh, police station, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're kind of our first primary uh, location after the initial one. But... So I'm supposed to find a note in the so called commissioner's office. Again, I'm translating this from Spanish. Oh, nice. Are you actually uh, translating or using Google Translate? Google machine translation, yeah. I know what the note says, but I have to find the note. <laughs> uh, there we go. A piece of paper. What's on it? 216. Jesus Christ, really? 
Evacuation site. Central Hotel 216. Evacuation? Maybe the cops went there. Okay. So... Okay. So from here... If I go to this room, oh, there was a room with a blood trail. Yeah, I'm looking at video. I think you have to hit go. Go! So return takes me to a hallway, stage just keeps me put. I think you have to go and click where the blood trail leaves. Have you tried that before? It doesn't, doesn't do anything. Huh. Yeah, move isn't available, use isn't available, get not available, can't talk. I can only look and leave. Because uh, so the guy clicked, you click go to where the end of the tr blood trail is and he says, the character goes, Cole goes, okay, I'll go to the room at the back. Okay, so I might still be missing a uh, prerequisite. I'm thinking it's going to be the calm room. Can't get anything. So really, you just clicks go, and then... All the buttons. Click on, click on look, and uh, use a look to click on blood trail. See if it tells you actually, I need to search more for something. Yeah, keep clicking on it. Uh, click on the desk thingy. Yeah, a little bit. 
a little above that, the like door looking thing. Uh, click on lower bottom of the uh, blood trail. The story is so far. Huh. Let's see what the message says. Okay. Yeah. So. so I've I've listened to the police radio. I've picked up the flashlight. I've looked at the note with two one six on it. Um. Don't know what else to do. Yeah, the guy that I machine translated says, Later I came across the hallway with five doors. I went into the first. It was a meeting room. There I could get a flashlight. In the second, the commissioner's office, I found a note with figures 216. I moved on to the third room. Spread out all the remains of real massacre lay. I almost threw up when I put on, I examined, I examined the bodies, but suddenly I heard a strange voice. During a, I thought I'd be one of the dead, but the voice turned into laughter, and he faded again in silence. After the fourth door, another one was waiting for me, Gore scene. The deceased had tried to defend gun in hand, but not. He could prevent his brains from becoming fast food for zombie. I tried. Take pipe, but the cocoon held onto it more than its own life although I would have lost it already. When I opened the fifth door, the deepest darkness enveloped me, but thank you to the flashlight, I illustrated the corridor I was in. I followed the trail that he turned right next to a shelf. There didn't seem to be anything abnormal there. When I was about to leave, Jack or Jack Stiff pounced suddenly on me. So I feel like I've done everything that this guy describes. <laughs> right? Uh, so good. So what are we missing? He's stuck. What did Kevin not click on? Let's see. So click on look between like right above the uh, desk thing. See what it says. <sighs> Fuck. Because <laughs> uh, this guy click on it says I better be careful. The trail of blood could belong to dead police officer, live a zombie. I'm not gonna die because I got killed. Yeah, he's not saying anything like that. Huh. Okay, so I'm wondering if there's something I'm missing elsewhere. And the room that makes me more curious, again, is this comms room. But I can't think of what else to do. You, um... <clears throat> You click on the dead police officer's gun, right? Saying that guns use less without the bullets? Yeah, correct. Okay. Looking. Looking. I'm 
even at a point in plug that's like this specific with the flags. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly why I never, I never like point and click. How did he... this guy trigger this? And you click and look on the every every room, right? I sure hope so. I feel like you'd only like click on each corpse once or something. Yeah, even look, even click on the like device and like even the small document on the ground, maybe. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> okay, you have this shit. Oh, Is that okay? Just a quick user look. Oh, that time for me. <laughs> Try digging the gun. Yeah. Yeah, he won't take it because it doesn't have any bullets in it. No, he's fine bullets. Very unreasonable protagonist. Looking around on the internet some more. Uh, Is there not a walkthrough at all either, you said? Not like a text one. I'm going on YouTube. and one day we get dinner. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so I'm watching a walkthrough with a different older translation. And yeah, I'm seeing what Jihoon's talking about, where he hits go and then just like clicks and he moves on. Uh oh. We're glitched. I don't know. Like I'm I'm looking at this video and I don't see anything I missed. I'm sure this is like really terrible TV, but I can't figure out how to proceed. Terrible. Okay, let me let me check something in the uh the chief's room. Okay. Wonder where the chief is, sleeping at home, maybe he was killed already. It would be strange if no one attempted to contact him. Wonder how many cases were solved in this chair. Yeah, that's that was a line I didn't remember seeing. And at this point, who knows what's a what's a flag, you know? kidding me that was it i had to look at the fucking chair oh the chair who would have thunk it <laughs> that was all just the proceed here uh -huh. hmm 
it seems the blood trail stops here. Generic office desk. Nothing's on it. When there's a blind, small ones for small windows. Nothing on these shelves is of note. It's a lot of dust on the shelf, so it's not used often. I know what's in this locker. There's nothing in it. Not even a broom. Looking in the drawer, nothing in it. Say if you stare long enough into the blinds, the blinds stare back. Oh well, guess I'll just go back to the hall. Huh? Thought I heard some noise behind me. Gwah! Gwah! Whoa! It's a zombie! Ah! Oh god. Look, so many teeth! The zombie's brain's gushing out of his head. I gotta do something quick. The drug reanimates the brain. I wonder if I can destroy it. No good, I can't reach it. I have to do something. The mouth. Please. It's human. I think I can reach out his tongue. I have to destroy the brain. His dead eyes are watching. I need to do something. His dead eyes are staring at me. Wait, the eyes. Yes, that's my only chance. I got one shot at this. Wah! Wah! Oh, no. Game over, yeah. Game over, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go. Return. What do we have to do? Uh, get his eyes. His dead eyes are watching me, staring. Yes, get the eyes. All right. Gah! Ugh, more zombie blood. Gotta get out of here quick. Whoa! Ah, I slipped! The blood wasn't dry already? Ah, the zombie! What am I gonna do? Ah, I can't get up. Uh, huh? What's that object? Oh shit, it's a zombie! It's getting closer! Wait, wait, get... Let me get it. Okay, go. Return. A gun! Get him! Oh, uh, okay. I guess I got to shoot him right in the head. I shot him in the in the pants. Okay. Arm was like flipping out. Okay, look at gun. Get. Oh fuck! I click too much. <laughs> what? Oh, you get one shot. Yeah. That kind of timer's still freaking out. Aha! Hmm, so the brain was a weak point? I should tell Doc. His head exploded. I'm back on the main floor, but Doc and Sheila aren't there. I don't think the detectives... Huh? Is that Sheila's voice? I think it's coming from that resource room over there. Sheila's voice came from here. But how did the outbreak spread so fast? Oh, the serum has viral properties. You're bitten by a zombie, you get infected. Damn it all. Would have been better if I never attempted to make such a trick. Mr. Cooger, it's all right. What's done is done. Right on. We shouldn't worry about the past anymore. We have to move on. Cool! Still, I'm sorry. You must forgive me. Did you find anything upstairs? Yeah, I got some sweet info. Uh, okay, let's... Let's talk. What are you looking at, Sheila? Oh, these? They look like blueprints, but I don't know why they'd be here. Blueprints? For what? It says, Central Hotel. 
Central Hotel. Oh! There was a note in the chief's office saying Central Hotel was, was the shelter. Shelter? Did they all evacuate there? Yeah, I think the other survivors could be there. Doc, I think I found the zombie's weakness. Really? Yeah, I was upstairs in the armory. I was hoping to find a sick machine gun, but not even a bullet was left. Cole, are you alright? Did you get hurt? No, I'm fine. I had to crush the zombie's eyes in. It was cool, but it was still alive and able to detect me without them. Maybe it was instincts. I guess so, if its instincts are to kill people. So about that weakness. Right, so I found a gun and shot it in the head. Hmm, so it can't go by its instincts if the brain is destroyed. Like a ship without its captain. Oh, right, and it seems the zombies are eating brains. I don't know why, though. Uh, I see. Seems you learned a lot. Well, what can I say? Anyway, now we know their weakness. I think we have a good chance at survival. Maybe if we head to a hotel, we'll find survivors. Well, they already evacuated there. But I, I have no idea why they would eat human brains. I would eat them for food. When I experimented with guinea pigs, they died within two minutes. I haven't tested on humans before. I think they may die within a day or so. Maybe they could live longer if they ate brains. I don't know. There's something about the brain. Zombies don't have organ digestion, but maybe it's a chemical in the brain they like. Let's look into it. It's just a theory. paper stock has looks to be tax records of a large company. Why does he have this? Doc, what is that? <laughs> it's a katana I found. The place might have seized it from the Mafia, but now it's my deadly slice of Japanese heritage. Can you even use a sword like this, Doc? My niece loves Japanese samurai flights. So I'm gonna show you, I'm up on the latest techniques. I see. First time I've heard this. Of course there's so much stuff in this room. Must be an archive full of data they've collected for decades. Glad I didn't take Sheila with me. Something bad could have happened. Doc's still looking serious. Of course, I'd be the same way if I was him. This page. Oh, it's a full map of the city. It's so detailed. We get that, I guess. Magic Pixel game. Was it res more locked in the look talk again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. to uh, change the battery in my headphones in a sec.
I can hear again. Woohoo! Is that the... Okay, okay. This? Oh, it's a flashlight. But it stopped working when I was attacked by a zombie. I probably shouldn't hold on to a broken flashlight anymore. I'm gonna toss it. Odd that the Mafia would have a crazy sword like this. I don't know anything about katanas, but I'd love to go to Japan one day. Oh, Doc, have you heard about the Central Hotel? I read about it in a magazine. Foreign leaders would go there for meetings, like a second White House. Seems to be a big building, perfect for a shelter. Where is it? I think it's near the Needle River. I could tell you exactly where if I had a map. There is a map right here. I think this is the map. You think so? It's a huge book, so it'd be hard to lug around. Here's the Needle River, so the hotel would be around here? Alright, let's get out of here. Doc, don't forget your sword! Oh god, this game. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to only torture you guys, not me, too. Telephone. I didn't know there was a hotel here. It looks like the top isn't finished yet. Covers for a construction work are blowing in the wind. They seem to be calling to me. Construction isn't finished. Seems it'll take a few more months. It looks creepy. It's alright. There's probably dozens of refugees in here. It's your construction company's logo is on the construction tarp. This is really eerie. Is this actually the hotel? It is, according to the map. This hotel looks pretty swank. My budget only stretches to the crappiest motor ends. This would probably be the tallest tower in the city. Okay. Go. Alright, let's go inside. Hmm, cool. The door's locked. Did you find a key at the station? A key? No, I didn't. Look at this, Cole. Electronic lock. Cole, was there a code at the station? Punch in the right code, and you can enter? How modern. Okay. Uh... Did I actually find one? Seems you have to enter a three-digit pen. <sighs> so... Wait, I'm lock on. Oh, don't click. Can we type when it's not flashing? The numpad work. I mean, I'm trying it all. Let me let me see what this video does. There. Why was that so hard? Whoa, it opened. 
So it was a pin, not a room number. Come on, let's go. Is this a lobby? It's dark, but I can see well enough. The terminal shows what rooms are vacant. Oh, wonder how that works. All the second and third floors are lit up, so they are probably all vacant. Front desk, huh? Odd that there's no one, even though the hotel isn't open yet. I mean, I guess they'll need one eventually once it opens. No shit. Is that an elevator? I hope a wave of zombies doesn't burst out if it opens. Ah, the buns aren't lighting up. Maybe it's not working because the top floors aren't finished yet? Since the elevator doesn't work, I think we have to use the stairs. The stairs are to the right of the elevator, just off screen. Sorry, I read your line. How dare you. But the elevator's easier to take. Stop complaining. That's really into his huge pillar. We just look to look. Fuck, man, I guess I'm just playing this along with the video. What are we supposed to click on? Okay, I guess I didn't... Look at the fucking windows. Okay, so if, for some reason, this the guy I'm watching, Sheila, just like starts talking. Oh, let's go see everyone. I hope Terry's there. Oh, yeah, they clicked to the right. Terry. No, I, I guess I had to look at the door and then look at the terminal again. So you finally figured out. <sighs> I'm okay, watchers as well. I don't, f I don't feel a step here. Is this the second floor? There's a door here. I hear... Here's something on the side. Okay. Ah, whoa! Refugees are all dead! Doc, we can't stay here. Let's make tracks. But there's also the third floor. We should check there as well. The third floor? But Doc, everyone here is dead. Ah! Oh, horrible. You can go on without me. I'll be back after I check the third floor. Don't! That's dangerous! Can't let you go alone. We'll all hit the third floor together. All right, but once I'll be, we're checking out ASAP. Doc, be careful. Look safe for now. Such a spooky hallway. Spooky, spooky skeleton. A sturdy looking door. You'd see two soldiers guarding it when the president stays. Looks like 20 rooms altogether. It's too big to be considered a second White House. Don't know what's in these rooms, so there's a good chance there's a zombie beside behind one of them.
I'm standing into the room, so put a pin and a card here, and the mechanism opens a lock. Can't be open without an ID card. Always lit up by the moon. Eerie. Feels like the zombies are hiding all around. It's the same bulletproof glass as the first floor. I guess it can withstand even a terrorist attack. Looking down, I can see the Needle River. I remember playing on the riverside when I was a child. There were some footprints on the floor, but no blood. No one was attacked here, it seems. So many footprints! One's probably a large man's, another a small woman's. Don't move! I'll shoot! Huh? Someone talking? Behind us. Freeze! Are you zombies or humans? Nothing personal, ah. kid. <laughs> we thought this place was a shelter! What? Your survivors? I was shot, you guys! Uh, who are you? <laughs> oh, jeez. You can call me Killer. I used to be oh. a detective until all this went down. A detective from the 16th precinct? Yep, we all had to hide here. Everyone managed to evacuate here? No, sadly. Most people in the city turned. There were only six of us here. Here, follow me into this room. I found these survivors outside. I think they could be useful. They're probably talking about us. This place is locked down tight. How'd you get in? We invited ourselves in, actually. You need a pin to get in here. How'd you find that? We found a note at the 16th precinct. But everyone there was killed by zombies. Ah, the chief's office. That station was overwhelmed by zombies. <laughs> Did you okay. manage to get into the armory? Yeah, it was attacked. I didn't get bit. You got here without weapons? Nice. We took all the weapons here, so that's why it was empty. Oh, really? So that's why it was empty. You're the chief, right? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Richard Gree, but you can call me Ghoul. What? I don't know how I got the nickname, but at one point everyone began to call me Ghoul. I think it's a good nickname. Cole, this is Dr. Kujer and Sheila. I figured more people would be here, not just six. Yeah, there's only six of us, but we've been fighting hard against these damn zombie forces. It's a tough, thankless job, but we must do it. How about you? Could you three be of any help? I don't think this kid will be useful. I don't even approve of you being a leader. Knock it off, Ray. Ghoul is the chief, so his first priority is to protect the people. Do you really trust these people with your life? Ray and Sally, huh? Seems like they got some problems to work out. This is a desperate predicament. The more the merrier. What if that radio is busted or we, we're out of range? We should just move on. Are we going to get out of here? It's all in dead out there. And the train seems like it's a bad idea unless you're cool with a zombie in the driver's seat. C Cole, what do we do? Oh, big decision moment. Can't save. Let's join. We're in. Thanks. You people should get some rest. Sally, give them the cards and guns. Yep, here you go. Your room is 220. Here's a card for it, a gun, and a grenade. These are for the undead, so don't point this at anything you don't want to kill. We have some operations in the works. If you come back in 30 minutes, I can tell you about them. We're a team. We may have different opinions and such, but we're all humans trying to survive. Cole, let's go rest a little. Yeah. Yeah, like deputize you on the spot. This is our room. So close to the stairs, I'm a bit worried about that.
220. That's our room. Looks safe. Uh, ID. Ooh, use gun. God damn it. Look better. You put the card in here? Ah. Um. Let's go in. I hope there's a nice sofa in there. Hey, Cole. Oh. Sheila, Doc, you can go on ahead. I'll be there when we're done. Okay. Hello there. You can call me Nose. Sorry to intrude. It's about Ray. You ought to forgive him for his behavior. Uh, why? There are still some zombies on the second floor. There could be eight or so, and Ray's girlfriend is one of them. I see. Are you sure it's her? Zombies look nothing like humans. Yeah, she has his necklace he gave her. When we were down there, he saw one of the zombies had it. Earlier, Ray and I were down there, trying to kill her, but Ray was so repulsed. So, can you do me a favor? I really want to help Ray, though. Well, can't force you to do this, but it's someone can deal with the zombies downstairs. Yeah, I guess. Alright, leave the zombies downstairs to me. Thank you. I'll tell the boss we talked. Ah. By the way, you're a lucky guy with that girlfriend of yours. Oh, Sheila? She's so cute. You make a move, I will shoot you. Ha! Huh. When you came in, I knew you were a scary guy. Ah, okay, so the second floor is to repay our debt. Well, in return, I'll get you a big dog buffet from Golden Palace. Definitely. Looking forward to it. No seemed imposing, but he's actually a nice guy. I thought this would be a lap of luxury, but this barely moves, barely rates above my own crappy digs. I'm kind of worried that I just joined this group. What if I let them down? If we had turned back to the second floor, we wouldn't have met that group. Good thing Doc kept us on the right track. I guess I'm too worried about my friends. Yeah, come to think of it, we haven't been hanging out that much lately. Come to think of it, if I don't kill these zombies, I can't spend time with Sheila. If I made the reanimation serum, I'd be in the same position as Doc. Probably even worse. Bought that dress for Sheila. I remember her smile when she got it as if it was yesterday. It's been six months since I got that dress for her, but she still likes it. Wanted some new jeans for my birthday, but instead bought that dress for Sheila. I think it was a good decision. Okay. A lot of thoughts about clothing. Doc seems to feel better than before. He said once he's, he once said that if we are depressed often we will get nothing done. Now I can talk. Sheila, I promise to help exterminate some zombies, but if we run around too much, we'll get killed. The hotel's bulletproof glass makes it a little more secure than my apartment. I know, but I'm more worried about you, Cole. What if something happens to you? It's alright. I won't be reckless. I know their weak point, and I have a gun now. I want to come with you, but I would be a burden. Thanks, but make sure you stay in this room. You never know if the zombies downstairs could come up here. Cole, this is my fault. Can you take me with you? But that's dangerous! It's okay, I'm fine by myself. Maybe you feel better if I watch your back. <laughs> I also have a weapon. I can't just sit back while you risk your life. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Don't get careless, Doc. We need you to investigate these zombies. I understand. Yes, I'll watch my back. The guy who took us to the meeting room has me on edge. I remember seeing him somewhere. Don't know where. Killer? Maybe it's deja vu. Must be mistaken. Just forget about it. Are they all like prisoners then? 
like escaped convicts or something? I thought they were all police. It could be a cover. Yeah. Oh, right. What did you talk about with that man? He seems scary. Oh, that's Nose. He was in the meeting room, I think. It was about Ray. Yes, he had his feet up. I was fighting with the chief. Yeah, so there's a zombie on the second floor that Ray and Nose fought. It was Ray's girlfriend, and she had a necklace that he gave her. So Ray's quite depressed right now. Oh, poor guy. Everyone's getting affected by this. I don't know how to feel. Nose wanted me to forgive Ray. In that case, it seems like Nose is a nice guy after all. So what's Ray gonna do? Ray's girlfriend is a zombie now. But he can't bring himself to shoot her. You wouldn't shoot me if I became a zombie, right? I probably would. <laughs> Speaking of Nose, he said you were really cute, Sheila. Hehe, <laughs> I bet you got angry at him, right, Cole? Knock, knock. That must be Sally. Yeah, I'm going out for a bit. Ah, Cole. Let's get started, then. Let's see. Usually, women with glasses look tight, but not her. What's that mean? Before this incident, she must have been an office worker. I can't imagine doing her doing that, though. Not bad. Has the sexiness of an adult. <laughs> she has some very good fashion sense. Alright, uh... Talk? The first thing I need you to do... Oh, zombies on the second floor? You can leave that to me. Oh, you know that already? Good. This meeting will go by fast. The second floor is still unfinished, so it's difficult to know where zombies lurk. So be cautious. The so second floor the same number of rooms as this floor? No, there's only five rooms, much smaller. There are four confirmed zombies. Four? Doesn't sound that bad. Make sure you kill them all. For this shelter to be secure, there can't be any zombies nearby. If you leave one, you have to go right you have to go right on back downstairs. Understood. Can I go? Can I move? Okay, keep talking. You'll need some well-deserved rest after this. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be getting food at a store about a thousand feet away from the hotel. Thanks. I'll be sure to when, I mean, if I get back. Alright, be careful, Cole. Cole, how are you feeling? I can manage. She said there's a department store a thousand feet west of here, so I'll be getting good food tomorrow. Well, Cole, shall we go now? <laughs> Sheila, wait for us to get back soon. Both of you, be careful. Sorry, I read your line, Andrew. Here I you was go. like nodding off again, so it's cool. Mm, I don't <laughs> think any zombies are here, Cole. Right, they're probably in one of these rooms. Be careful. Looks like the door wasn't put in its frame yet. It's dark and I can't see in there. Threw away the fucking flashlight, Cole. Well, it was working. Is a zombie in here? Soundproofing makes it hard to hear from outside. The doors will need ID cards. We won't know what's in there till we check. Alright, let's just fucking go in a room. Did we check this room yet? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ! It's, it's not a zombie! You don't say. Doc, you think that's a zombie hanging there? No, a zombie would have tried to move around when we came in just now. I wonder why she's suspended here like this. I hope these zombies weren't playing with this poor corpse. I feel bad for this lady. Doc, do you think we should take her down from here? I don't want to sound cold or anything. We should leave her be. Zombies could come out while we try to take her down. You're right. Also, we should probably just let the dead rest anyway. The corpse of a young woman. The area where her arm was torn off seems to be rotting. What's in this box here? That's like another box to me, but let me see. What's in the box? Can't open this box, Cole. It's nailed shut. Maybe someone used it as a stepping stool.
All these boxes are nailed shut, not just this one. Be careful, there could be zombies hiding behind these boxes. Blood from the corpse has dropped down here. The blood's supposed to drop me, so she must have been hanging here for a long time. Nothing else interesting about this corpse's blood. This wall doesn't have windows installed yet, just a hole. The power's out, so the moonlight's the only light source. We're pretty high up, even for a second floor. Oh, be careful. All right, on to another room. Dev woman's body, how awful. This is easier than I thought. Oh, oh, cancel. Go. Haven't been in here yet. Oh shit. Ah, duck! There's two zombies! Oh, they haven't set this census yet. We're going to act. Act now. Look out, there's another one. <laughs> Perfect call. You've destroyed their brains completely. Don't be walking dead anymore. Looks like they aren't just eating brains. They yeah. have the brain. They must still have an appetite. So they go out. They go for other pieces. Vile beings. This is one of the zombies I killed. There's still more out there. Let's just get the rest of them and go back to the room. The remains of the man they're eating. His legs are gone. What fiends. Doc, what's in this box here? Looks like trash. Do you want any of it? No, I'm good. But thanks. Not just very hungry. <laughs> just by looking at it for a moment, I know this is just <laughs> some cardboard. Two dead zombies I killed on the floor. Not pleasant to look at. The blood sprayed out from where I shot him. Gory, but it's to be completely sure. There's brain goo on the wall along with blood. Oh, Doc, you don't need to go into that much detail. I'm gonna be sick as is. Okay, can't talk, can't get, can't move, can't use. Well, we can go. Let's leave. Glad we got those two zombies. If they attacked all at once, we'd be in trouble. Haven't been in here yet. This room only has wooden boxes. Look out, we don't know where zombies are hiding. The red on those boxes means they explode, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. There's so many wooden boxes here, I wonder why. I don't have any time to check through all these boxes. Feel a stiff, cool breeze from the window. It's much colder here than the other rooms. It's cloudy. If it rains tomorrow, it'll be tougher to deal with zombies outside. There's no power in the surrounding buildings. The whole city went dark. No zombies are behind this box. I can't. O I can open this box. Should I check it out? Ah, it's just crap. I don't need. On one hand, I could wait here until a zombie comes over, but Sheila's waiting, so I better hurry. There's a power cord on the ceiling for lights. If construction was done, there would probably be light here. Wonder if power is going through that cord. No use. I can't reach it. I think a note besides that cord up there. Okay, I guess I'm ready to move on. There weren't any zombies here before. Uh, a different room. Haven't been in here yet. Ooh, 
Oh, it's eating him. Oh, the pendant. Okay, that's gory detail. <laughs> it must be Ray's girl. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Sorry about that, Cole. It's spotting us. Oh! Shit, what happened to me? What? Huh? Okay, let's check one of the rooms we've already been to. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Just wanted to check to make sure that... <laughs> You know. Seems like a good time to save. Okay. Let's try this room again. Alright. Feel like I did Ray wrong by pulling the trigger. Now I know how nose felt. Oh, it can't be helped at all. When you turn, it's best to die before you can hurt anyone else. The back of her head blew off because bullet hit her dead. Because a bullet hit her dead square in the head. Can't believe this happened to Ray's girlfriend. Even after you turn, your body keeps rotting. This must be a pendant Ray gave her. Even as a zombie, she wore it. Should we give this back to Ray? No, it's not. He doesn't need to know about this at all. Oh, oh look in the lockpit. There's a picture here. It's a picture of Ray. Oh, if I never made the reanimation drug, an innocent lady like this wouldn't have had her life cut short. Doc. Ray's girlfriend was eating a corpse. They all become so brutal when they become zombies, no matter who they are. She must have been drawn to this guy's brains. If this body wasn't here, she might have attacked us instead. This man must have a family of some kind. I'm sorry. Get, can't talk, can't use. All right, leave. Gotta find those other zombies. Didn't let go of this locket till the end. I feel kind of bad for it. Doc seems so depressed. Haven't been in here yet. Seems people died here, Doc. Do you see any zombies? No, none here, but who knows where they're hiding. Be alert. Oh, a toolbox. I wonder what's in it. Um, did you open it? No good. Maybe I should give up. Ah, it's open. Hmm? Is there anything interesting in there, Cole? Just all kinds of tools. A hammer, a screwdriver, a spanner. Hurry up, Cole. There are still zombies around. Right, right. Uh, the rest is just nails upon nails. Shit! Cole! Doc! Damn, got away. Oh. Doc, stay with me. We'll get you an ambulance. Wait, no. I'll bring you back upstairs. Oh, it's already too late for me. I'll say that, Doc. It's all right. I'll take you upstairs and we'll treat your wound. You're gonna be fine. Cole, the serum infects the blood like a virus. We saw that happen to the officer at the lab. I'll become one of them soon. What? Why are you saying all this bullshit? You're gonna be okay, Doc. I'm sure of it. This is all my fault in the first place. I made that drug. 
It wouldn't be fitting for me to survive. Oh, I'm sorry for everything. Tell Sheila to not be sad. Ray's girlfriend's death was also my fault. Doc, you're gonna make it, I swear. We'll, we'll get rid of these zombies and the three of us will be alright. Doc, please don't die on me. Oh, can you still hear me? I have one last request for you. A last request? Yeah, I'm listening. I don't want to become one of those zombies. Please, kill me first. Oof, that's deep. <laughs> what? No, I can't do that. What are you talking about? Oh, please, I'm begging you. I don't want to scare Sheila as a zombie. Oh, you're the last friend I can trust fully. Please, just do it. <sighs> oh, don't cry. Be strong. Here, they don't suit you anyway. Oh, it's getting dark. Alright, Doc. I understand. Please, after e even after everything you've done, make sure you go to heaven. I'll try. I'll be waiting. Make sure to live a happy life with Sheila. Oh. <laughs> that was so sudden! Wow. Four years ago, when I came to the city, I first met Doc. And like most people, he was really friendly to me. He was more than just another scientist. He was my best friend. His experiments weren't successful most of the time, but his determination is what made me admire him. However, he made one massive mistake that cost people their lives. That mistake cost him his own life as well. Doc, I will never forget you. Rest easy. It's my fault Doc died. Sheila's going to be so upset with me when I tell her. That voice is coming from room 103. Is that the zombie that attacked Doc? I have to get in there and get that bastard. Um, I can't really... So that's 101, 102. Is the one on the left? That's what I'm wondering. Okay. What? Was it waiting for me to come in? Shit! How did I drop my gun now of all times? The zombie is so much more powerful than the others. Was this how Doc was overpowered? Uh, uh, go, go for eyes. No dice. It's not letting go like what the one at the station. If I lose my grip, he'll eat me for sure. It's almost like I fell in a sick trap. If he gets any closer, I'm done for. It's kick. It doesn't respond to my kicks. I don't think I can even kill this one. This one's a lot more powerful than the others. I can't possibly kill it. It'd be better to run away. Uh, I think. Must have run away when he saw I had a gun. And he waved for me to drop it. Come to think of it, I did hear one of them talk on the radio at the station. But how's the zombie talk? I thought they ate brains only, but it seems the ones in room 102 ate the whole body. Maybe there's some kind of sentient thought? Maybe they're smarter than Doc and I thought. Damn. It's getting, it's getting dark. Is this it for me? Should have done more for Sheila. My vision's getting blurry. <sighs> Someone came into this room, and the zombies hid there and waited for me. Huh? What happened? Who saved me? You want to be this guy? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much longer I can like go on. That was too close. You would have been done for if I was a moment late. God, that's cool. Thanks a million. Please. I'm Cole. Nice to meet you. Are you also part of Chief Ghoul's Survivors? <laughs> no, I'm on my own. We're all survivors. The way things are going. <laughs> what a joke. I'm Kane. Nice to meet you. You guys just want to call it? I feel like this stream is kind of cursed. <laughs> cursed game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, because, like, I, I, mean, I don't mind voicing, but it's just that since you cannot stream this on Discord, I cannot um, yeah, do that time. Yeah, the timing is just too crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm i not feeling this game, and I kind of feel like it's kind of too late to start <laughs> FF7. Um, 
but I don't know. This is fun as like a let's try it thing. I'm I mean, obviously, at... it's I mean, it is quote unquote spirit of, spirit of your three, which is like test it out, mess around, and boom, we're done, right? Yeah, I don't know. I I finished Jesus and uh, uh, Space Funeral, but I don't think I have it in me to finish this. Looking at the um the video I've had up that I've been kind of referring to and keeping pace with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not even halfway. I think there was like a two-hour video, I think. Yes. Yeah, there was like a two-hour one, and I'm looking at like a five-hour one that I've been kind of Yeesh. keeping pace with. Oh, well. You tried. It was very, like, weird with the, um... Like, what you have to click on. Yeah, I... <laughs> I haven't been having a good time <laughs> playing this. I, I'll just, I mean, that's probably I know, been pretty clear. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm beating the dead horse around when it comes to this topic, but this is exactly why I don't like point and click adventure. Like you, you have to, sometimes you have to click a very precise order or object. Mm -hmm. I feel like so of, oh, go ahead. I feel like typically they're they're great games to play on stream. You know, I feel I like I really enjoy playing uh, Phantasmagoria one and two with you guys stuff mm -hmm. like that you know but this one it's so exact yes it's so like exact mm -hmm. and the the flags don't make sense yeah so it's definitely um i know some of the modern point and click adventure they give you a lot of hints and the main character will give you a focal hint or even um or sometimes make it easy to the point like it actually tell you which object you can uh, interact mm -hmm. with uh, that's something I, uh, some people may take that, take that for granted, but that's something that I, I definitely appreciate out of the, uh, modern gaming, but, oof, back in the day? Mm-mm. No. Yeah, normally I would be like, hey, you know, uh, maybe we'll, like, come back in, like, a part two, but I don't think I wanna. Like, um, the, I really enjoy the aesthetic of PC-98 yeah. games. You know, I love how this game and other games like it look, you know, and I love... Remind me of the uh, Devil Summoner. Yeah. I love just goofy, um, like, visual novels and stuff that is an excuse to just for us to say just fucking weird shit to each other. But I've, I've been having such a bad time with the gameplay, and I feel like the story just isn't weird enough. Yeah, I mean, because the story... It feels kind of generic. Yes, that is definitely the word I was going to get used for sure. Yeah. The typical zombie flick, like, shit happened in the town, everybody's trying to survive. And there was no fur, um... I mean, granted, I didn't post the intro, but it's not like there was actually a mystery or something. Or no. it's not like the zombies evolving, so... No, like, the the part you missed, Ji Hyun, was, like, his, his pal, who's, like, his science professor. Um... Was just like, hey, hey, look, Cole, I resurrected my weak old dead cat back to life. And then the cat, like, attacked him, and then a cop showed up, and then the, it attacked the cop and killed the cop. Then the cop got up as a zombie. And well, they then that's when he came in. Him. Oh, right, they injected him, yeah. They're like, well, maybe we can bring him back. Why do I feel that the very first part you said, Benjamin, I, I swear that's a common for something that we're like, Doctors, I missed my path. I'm gonna res resurrect it, and then that's the cause of everything. Why do I get? Why do I feel like I actually heard it from some some mm -hmm. other plot? God, it's gonna bother me. Yeah, and I, I had this game sold to me as um, kind of, what if uh, Back to the Future was about zombies instead of time travel? Actually, I had a time travel on this shit. No, I'm saying, no. w what if back to a few, like, kind of the relationship that the main character has with his uh, professor. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm done. Curse stream over. Um, For sure. Next week, we'll go back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah, more chocobo. Fucking chocobo writing is better than this. <laughs> Yeah, let's try to to mix it up a little bit. I'm having fun in Rebirth, you know, but I'm also I I feel like I need to 
spread it out, take some breaks. I mean, it can be a little bit tedious too, right? Yeah, and the thing is, remember, I also steamrolled through uh, Remake and Integrate, also. Oh, so. yeah. Well, damn. I mean, as long as you keep Andrew entertained with the Queen's Blood mm -hmm. movie, okay. Hell yeah. See? <laughs> the man agrees. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, so I have something to show you guys. Uh, oh. I did not prepare this, so hold on. Hold on for a sec. Hurry up before uh, Andrew falls asleep. <laughs> you gotta keep him, keep him entertained, otherwise he falls asleep. Here, I'll just do this. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, you should have seen Oh, wait. Hold on. It's, uh, not the... All right. Working on it. Uh... Transform. Bring up porn or something? Right. Get to screen. There. I had... I'm, oh. uh, going to retroactively edit my uh, Final Fantasy 7 YouTube thumbnails to include this. Okay. How fun. Okay. Have fun. Does Druid. Um, four wire in our uh, Discord group. Very, very excited. I told her that uh, the the eight-year-old who played uh, Final Fantasy 7 for the, the first time, you know, back in the day is like, that still lives in my heart is very excited to have this. Make sure to include your uh, yes. include your uh, Sephiroth inspired name XXX Sephiroth. Of Naruto course, XXX. of course. Well, all right. Sephiroth Goku sixty nine. Mm -hmm. nice. All right. I I guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> See you. I... In hell. So long. This has been like half of Dead of the Brain. Bye bye. Right. But it's a zombie. <laughs>